Will one of you finally give me what I desire? What's going on guys, RBG here bringing you another update on Marvel Spider-Man 2. If you've been following this game over the past few weeks, you may have noticed a lot of murmurings going around about it. But make no mistake, these are all speculations and rumors. Sony and Insomniac have yet to confirm any of these things you may have heard, nor do I think they ever will. Because at the end of the day, this is a game, and they want you to purchase it and play it for yourself to see if any of these things are actually true or not. Now, what I will say is that even though the devs of Marvel Spider-Man 2 have been keeping certain details close to their chest, it hasn't necessarily stopped them from responding to anxious fans on social media. Despite Marvel Spider-Man 2 still being slated to release this year, some fans have started to become a bit fearful of a potential delay. We've seen many PlayStation showcases and state of plays come and go with Spider-Man 2 being nowhere to be seen. Not to mention that it's coming up on two years since the first trailer dropped. So many fans have been dreading the probability of this game's release being pushed back. Which is a bit ironic considering the fact that it was recently reported that Rocksteady's Suicide Squad game's recent delay announcement was in response to Spider-Man 2's release supposedly being in September. And thankfully, it's looking like that release window could be true. In a recent interaction on Twitter, Insomniac Games responded to one fan's inquiry about Marvel Spider-Man 2 and its notable absence of new details or gameplay footage. The initial tweet revolved around the music from Marvel Spider-Man games being featured at the Game Awards 10-year concert. And you already know, it don't matter what that account tweets out, somehow, someway, there are gonna be questions related to Spider-Man 2. In one tweet, someone asked if the game was still slated for release this fall, to which Insomniac replied with, Fall 2023. A pretty simple and straightforward answer that some fans still weren't satisfied with. A Twitter user by the name of God of Ink 96 asked, and I quote, Is that just an automated response? I don't know why it's taking you two years just to show something. To which Insomniac responded with a simple no, followed up by a robot emoji for sarcasm. And let me just say, whoever the representative is in charge of handling this account is very clever. Like them responding with that short answer while essentially clapping back at the accusations of sending out automated tweets or being a bot was hilarious, man. And you think this response would essentially calm down and ensure God of Inc. 96 that they were hard at work on Marvel Spider-Man 2. But this guy remained persistent in his pursuit for a more direct answer to their question, saying and I quote, then why haven't we seen anything for two years? The game is supposedly coming out in a few months, yet you have done nothing to show us anything. And I'm not gonna lie, even though I think this guy sounds a little entitled with the constant replies, I kinda share his sentiments. Like, I thought we'd get a similar rollout to Marvel Spider-Man 1 where we get the first reveal trailer and then get a gameplay trailer the following year. We got those things back to back until it was finally time for Sony to release the game. But this rollout has been a little slow. I mean, don't get me wrong, they remind us that the game is still coming with things like the awesome ESPN commercial where we see Peter and Miles swinging in their new costumes, and they've been putting out cool things like the variant covers that essentially allude to things that could possibly be featured in the game's story. So it's slow, but it's still something. But it is a bit baffling that we have yet to see what the gameplay will consist of. We just want to know more about what the game will have to offer, man. And to that end, Insomniac then asked fans to just hold out a bit longer before news on Spider-Man 2 comes out, saying and I quote, because we're in the kitchen, it smells good in there, but we just asked for a little more patience. So there you have it folks, if you're familiar with rap battles then you may have heard the audience say let them cook when someone is being a bit overzealous for a response. That's what Insomniac seems to be doing, taking their time to cook up the perfect masterpiece. And I for one am not mad at them. We already know that they have a solid track record when it comes to putting out amazing games. And I'm pretty sure Marvel Spider-Man 2 will be yet another masterclass project that dares to compete with the likes of Rocksteady's line of Arkham games. If there's anything we've learned in the world of game development or life in general, it's that good things come to those who wait. We've seen similar instances of super entitled fans demanding to see more from studios like Santa Monica for God of War Ragnarok and complaining when the game was pushed back, only for them to get a solid story driven experience that outdoes its predecessor. Like, I know the reason why fans want to see more about this game, and it's because they enjoyed the previous installments, but I think we gotta dial it down with the entitlement. 
this is the third Spider-Man game in the franchise, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna boast a lot of things that the first game in Miles Morales didn't. And I also want you guys to keep in mind that the developers aren't necessarily on our time when it comes to developing a title. So just relax and enjoy the ride. Even though we haven't heard a lot from Sony and Insomniac directly, it hasn't stopped people who are associated with the game from slipping up and putting out details. We already heard from Venom's voice actor that Sony plans to launch a big marketing campaign in August. And earlier this week, Peter Parker's actor Yui Lowenthal said he completed his work on the game in a Reddit AMA post, only to say the opposite on Twitter a few hours later. Based on a new reporting that came out about a few days ago, it seems likely that we could end up seeing more of Marvel Spider-Man 2 within the coming day. Like, I'm almost certain that we'll be seeing some form of an update during some kind of PlayStation showcase this summer, and the next showcase just so happens to be in May. But anyways, we gotta talk about a new supposed leak that came out a couple days ago. As we know, Venom is gonna play a major role in Marvel Spider-Man 2, and in a lot of cases, Eddie Brock serves as the host of the alien Black Goo, and since the writers have shown us that they move at the beat of their own drum in terms of storytelling with this particular universe, it's left us wondering if it'll follow the comic book lore or do something totally different. After watching the post credits to both Marvel Spider-Man 1 and Miles Morales, it's been heavily implied that Harry will be Venom, and many people are coming to this conclusion because of that, but I feel like it's a swerve. Like something in my gut just tells me that it ain't who we think it is and it's definitely not Harry Osborn. But apparently we got some info on who it might be. The latest to pop up claims to know some explicit story details involving Kraven's role in the story, an extra playable character, and some hints that Venom's true identity isn't as cut and dry as some may think. And I just gotta give a heads up that this rumor was shared on Reddit but was originally posted on 4chan and you already know how wild these so called leaks on that platform are. Like there's a chance that those rumors can be true, but there's an even higher chance that whoever put out those rumors were just flat out trolling. So yeah. But anyways, the rumor first states that the game will open with Peter and Miles tracking a serial killer. This lines up with a previous rumor of the opening sections of the game seeing the pair pursue a character who resembles Sin Eater, a serial killer who made his debut in the comics during the time Peter wore the Venom symbiote as his black suit. Peter and Mary Jane will also reunite with Harry Osborn, who was mostly absent in the first game but was set up to be Venom with his father Norman using the symbiote to keep him alive. It's during this reunion when the Venom symbiote slips to Peter, suggesting that he'll obtain the black suit for himself. As for Craven's role, he's apparently hired by Norman but soon goes rogue, setting traps around the city while also calling on his henchmen to attack Peter and Miles. Now something interesting yet strange that this leaker mentions is that Eddie Brock will be a playable character during certain segments. And to some, it may come off like the writers just inserted him into this game to serve as the usual host for Venom, because we haven't really seen him in any of the games. Like to the untrained eye or gamers who simply don't care, it just seems like he's rushed. But there have been more than a few hints from the previous installments that indicate that he's been around an Insomniac Spider-Man universe for quite some time. He worked for the Daily Bugle around the same time Peter Parker did, and his signature could be seen in a farewell card the Bugle staff gifted to Peter when he left the newspaper. And during the events of Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, Eddie covers Rio Morales' campaign for the city council with Mary Jane. So yeah, Eddie's been here all along, and if the rumors of him potentially being playable are true, I just hope it's done in a way that allows him to become Venom in a well-written manner. Especially if we're gonna be playing with him way before he dons the symbiote. Because we've kinda seen that style of writing with Miles Morales in the first game. He was a character that initially had no ties to Spider-Man, but he was a huge fan and onlooker that you'd occasionally see during parts of the story. And those characters ultimately met and we saw their relationship build from there. Like at the end of the day, Peter Parker's strongest elements have always been how his secret identity has a major impact on his social life, whether it be positive or negative. We've seen this with Miles where he meets Spidey and ultimately becomes a Spider-Man himself. And we could see something similar with Eddie just on a darker and negative side of the spectrum. But you guys already know what I say, we'll just have to wait and see and when the game releases. We still have a ways to go until the ad campaign kicks into high gear, but until then I want to know your thoughts on this. Do you think fans should ease up on demanding an update for Marvel Spider-Man 2, or do you think that they have every right to be this way because of how long we've had to wait? 
Let me know down in the comments below. As always, I ask that you like or dislike the video. It don't have to be a thumbs up. You can give me a thumbs down if you want. But if you really enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you shared it with all your friends and family members on all the different social media outlets. Sharing is caring. But anyways, this is your boy RBG signing out on another video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. As a successful YouTube user, I often get questions asking what I use to get my videos tons of views. And the answer to that is TubeBuddy. This thing has helped me take my channel to the next level in ways I never imagined. It's a browser extension that helps new and experienced YouTubers grow fast and optimize their channels. I've been using this extension for years and it's constantly getting updated with new features, like the SEO tool that helps me come up with the perfect title, description, and tags to get more people to click on my videos. It even provides you with analytics besides your videos to see how much traffic your video is generating from various social media sites. The extension is absolutely free, but as a special offer, we're giving a 50% discount for channels that have less than a thousand subscribers that purchase the Pro Upgrade. All you have to do is enter in the code RISINGSTARBUDDY. So if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel or taking your content to the next level, download the extension now. You can do so by clicking on this link that will be provided in the description of this video.